In order to solve this problem, we need a substitution. Let variable u, by definition, that's this little triangle here, equal to x squared. The reason we want to do that is we want to transfer the first equation into a quadratic equation. So this becomes 2u squared, because then u squared here is equal to x to the fourth. Okay. 2u squared minus 13u plus 20 equal to 0 is equal to 0. You know, to solve this one, we can factor it. Okay. There's an easier method. If you don't understand this one, um, what I'm doing here, put up with it for a little bit. I'll explain here. So I'm looking for a number here. This is at 1u, 2u here, and then minus uh, 4 and minus 5 here. So my factor comes out to u minus 5 and u minus Four. Actually, it's uh, 2u minus 5. Okay, let's do a check on the side. Let me move it on the side so you can see here. Okay, so I'm checking that if 2u minus 5 times u minus 4, see if I get what my original equation back. What I always tell my students, you draw the underbelly first and you draw the over hat. Okay, underbelly u, 2u times u, that's 2u squared u times minus 4, that's minus 8 u. On the top, minus 5 times u, I'm going to put it over here to make my collection mechanism a little easier on the bottom. Okay. So here I have 2u squared minus 13u, let's push up a little bit so you can see it, plus 20. Okay, So it's right on. Okay. Let's go back over here. So once I factor it, I have 2u minus 5u minus 4 equal to 0 property of product production or multiplication tells me that I have two choices. I can either have 2u minus 5 equal to 0 or I can have u minus 4 equal to 0. Let's substitute back u. Remember that earlier we said u is equal to x squared. So for the first one I would have 2x squared minus 5 equal to 0 or x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Solving each one individually. Let's draw a little line over here in between. So over here divided by 2 on both sides and move 5 over. I have this, right? So my x is equal to, don't forget about this one. It's a plus minus, okay, 5 over 2. So there's two answers there. On this side I would have x squared equal to 4. So therefore x equal to plus minus radical 4 or you can say x equal to plus minus 2. Okay. And then let's simplify a little bit over here. When we have a radical division, we can actually split it up. Okay. If we rationalize it a little bit by multiplying radical 2 on top and bottom, we have that x is equal to, let's move up a little bit for us, plus, two, plus minus radical 10 over 2. Okay. Or, let's copy this one, x equal to plus minus 2. So since our original equation start x to the fourth, we know that we have four roots, okay, or four solutions, and here we checked it out. Okay. All right. Have a confident day.